Welcome to our podcast, where we uncover the most important and interesting stories for you. In this episode, we'll discuss scientists' plans to extract water from Earth's atmosphere to combat climate change. In a never-heard climate intervention strategy, scientists are now planning to decrease the amount of water vapor present in the stratosphere. This, they think, can be carried out by injecting the layer of atmosphere with ice-forming nuclei. According to scientists, if the water content is reduced, more heat, in the form of infrared radiation, will leak out into space. The strategy being explored by the scientists was mentioned in a study published in Science Advances. Even though greenhouse gases like carbon dioxide and methane are the important factors driving human-caused climate change, water vapor is considered the most common greenhouse gas. Hence. The removal of water vapor from the atmosphere will help mitigate climate change, as per the study. The study was carried out by researchers from the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. According to the study, scientists suggest trying out intentional stratospheric dehydration. As per the study lead author Joshua Schwartz, who is also a research physicist at NOAA's Chemical Sciences Laboratory, in Boulder, Colorado, this process will be carried out by seeding small particles, known as ice nuclei, into the stratosphere with the help of high-altitude planes. Schwartz said that if such seeds can be added to the stratosphere, then some of the water vapor is likely to condense in ice and fall, which will eventually remove excess water vapor and dehydrate the stratosphere. According to the study, the strategy can plausibly work after the experts have overcome several technical barriers. Schwartz said that right now, we don't have a plan or the technology to do this. He further said that it will not counteract the effects of carbon dioxide and added that it will only cool the atmosphere 1 70th, which is equal to the amount of warmth being given by CO2. It will only be a very small shift in the other direction. He added that CO2 becomes a huge problem in our atmosphere and that the new method will have a small impact in comparison to CO2. That's all from this podcast. Thanks for listening. We have many more such compelling episodes for you. Enjoy them. Do share your opinion in the comment box and subscribe to us for more.